Hello, I have been asked to make a tut short tutorial video on applying custom liveries to mods. Let's see. Uh, so let's start with this thing. So what we're going to want to do is duplicate it, and let's make a. It's already yellow. Let's make a. Uh, blue version, and thus name it blue. Uh, make sure you name it name it something different, or else you will most likely be confused. All right, if we save that now, what that will do is create a new folder in. Let's see. The, the rolling mine, mine files. So start off, you're going to need to find your Steam library folder. Mine is in a custom location. Yours is more likely in the default location. Uh, you're going to have to look up look up online how to find your Steam library folder. Once you've done that, uh, you want to go into want to go to Steam apps, common, rolling line, modding, mods, and there should be a. Uh, you should be able to find the one you just created. Uh, unfortunately, I have two of the same name. Let's see, it is uh, this first one. Okay, and here is the texture for this mod. What I'm going to want to do is uh, edit this in uh, any. Well, I mean, a a any photo editing app will work, but if you want to work, but some are better than others. Krita is a pretty good one that's available for free. Let's pull that open. Here we have the folder. Let's see, I, said, I, I named this mod the blue version, so let's uh, paint it blue. Let's see, if you uh, look at the uh, colors here, the yellow color is the primary color, so let's make that the blue color here. I will... Uh, here we go. Paint that blue. The, and let's make, make the uh, door and roof green. So if we save this, we're going to want to save it as, make sure it's a PNG image, or a, 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 maybe a JPEG would work. We're going to want to save it in modding custom assets, and let's make sure it's the, uh, let's see. Save it as something you'll recognize. So, okay. Now, what we're going to want to go do is go back to our new mod, hit edit, go to the mesh, and here we have the uh, texture for a quick mod. If we replace that, what we want to do is hit refresh assets folder. Always do that first, or else you might not see it. Let's see, where did it go? Side door wagon blue texture. That's what I use. If we hit, now, if we hit refresh preview, the colors are different. So if we hit done, uh, capture a new picture, so we don't get confused about it. Then hit save, and there we go. You can also, of course, do this with locomotives. For example, this one. If we hit duplicate, and uh, let's name this one. Uh, or something done. Now if we go back to the uh, rolling line modding mods folder, there should be a wagon G15 Providence Railways. Go. Open this with Krita. Krita is, ava Krita is available for free. Let's see, let's make this a primarily uh, dark blue color. The primary color is going to be dark blue. Let's use white stripes. This is the, this square here is the stripe color for this particular mod. Let's not touch any of anything else. And let's, uh, and then we will also want to replace the uh, running number and uh, logo. So, let's, see, let's go into the uh, text tool. Let's see. We need this to be something we can actually see, so let's set the text color to white. Let's set the 
text for that. Save, there we go. That's that's too small. I don't want to edit it there. See, let's choose a nicer looking font. Let's see, that's a mic too big looks like. Right, save this, close this, move this down into place. And something similar for the running number. Uh, let's give it uh, 5,028. Uh, 500, let's see again, change the text color to something we can actually see. Make sure it's an appropriate size. Choose a nicer looking font, prefer preferably the same font as was used. Let's say close, move it into position. Oops, that's uh, not right. If I yeah, select tool, let's just move this part. No, that's not what I. All right, let's flatten image to rasterize the layer, and now let's uh, select just this part. Move. And since that opened up a hole in the texture, let's fill that. Uh, as soon as we uh, get rid of the selection there, fill this. Right now, let's save it as a PNG, and we'll be saving it into the mods custom assets. Let's see. Providence J15. All right. Now, if we uh, refresh assets folder, this particular lo lo locomotive uses Flick uses the back wheel as its main mesh instead of the mesh because uh, that's what you need to do uh, do right now in order to get the uh, wheels to turn properly. The Providence J15, refresh preview, and would you look at that, it is right there for us. So now, it's done, done, done. Cap be sure to capture a uh, new picture so you don't get confused. Save. Now, let's make a, make a tender for it. Conveniently, for this mod, the uh, locomotive and tender use the same texture for this particular mod, so... We don't have to worry about uh, about doing all that again. Wheels, uh, model options, texture, Providence J15, refresh preview, done, capture, there we go, save, and there we go. However, it is worth noting that not all the mod textures will be quite so simple. For example, if we duplicate uh, this one, uh, name it pink, okay, and if we look in the uh, texture folder for this, let's see, wagon tender pink. This one's te texture is actually quite a bit more complicated. Open with. This, the reason this texture is so complicated is because it was not formatted for ease of use. Instead of just showing the colors, it shows all the different pieces. Uh, if you know a bit more about texturing, you'll understand why it looks like this. But uh, with a little bit of clever editing, or perhaps a bit of hard work, Krita, for example, has a select similar color texture so that I can just select all of the red parts. And I can easily recolor them pink. You can still edit textures that are complicated like this. It just takes a bit more work and a bit more complicated tools. All right, if I uh, save that like so, I'll save as, save it as a PNG. Modding, custom assets, tender text to texture pink. Save, okay. Now, if we hit uh, Refresh Assets folder, Wheels, Back Wheels, Model Options, Main, Texture, find the pink one. Texture, 
working, we can still edit it. So now if we done, done, make sure to capture a new picture of it so you don't get confused. Save. And there we go. So now let's uh, place our new mod on, on the uh, railway. Let's see, put a couple of cars for them to use. Here we go. And set it off.